guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here for a plan with me for the week beginning the 26th of February and I'm using my B6 size traveler's notebook and this kit from Sweet Kawaii Designs. It's the geometric hearts kit. I decided to use this for my last February week because it's really pretty and I don't think it's necessarily Valentine's but it's going to fit in this week. So first I went ahead and tipexed out all of the dates. As I've said before, the ink is quite dark and it shows through. It doesn't really show through the Sweet Kawaii Design stickers, but the Wednesday is longer than the stickers, so I just tipexed them all out anyway. And I put down all the date covers and then I put the date dots on the top as well. Now I went ahead and I used the large washi strip. I normally cut it down but I decided just to stick it at the right hand side of the page and I actually think it came out really nicely. I like it there. Um, so I went and filled in all the appointments that we have for this week. There's not a huge amount going on, some of the regular appointments and some new stuff. And so then I went ahead and started planning my week. I decided to stick my deco up at the top, my full box, for the Monday. And then I realized there were no ombre checklists like there normally are, but there were these translucent boxes. Now, for Monday, I didn't separate the full box and the translucent box. I stuck the to-do on top of that box, and I regretted it. I could peel it up and redo it, but I haven't. Um, but I did do it differently on the Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. Um, so I just used one of the little header labels as a nursery label. That is a regular thing that happens, so I tend to use a small sticker for that. Then I used this half box here to mark my dad's going away. Um, and you can see here, so I put my to-dos up at the top this time and I didn't layer the boxes. I did layer the checklist, which I'm actually really liking. I wasn't sure if I would like it, but I think it looks really nice, so this might be happening again. Um, then I did put a header in to divide the two boxes. Normally I colour block as well you, when I use the Sweet Kawaii Designs kit, but it actually worked without colour blocking. They're really muted colours, so I just mixed it up a little bit. Some of the similar patterns, some different. Um, so that was another little one of those headers to mark the nursery. And then I used another header and one of my therapy stickers from the Honey Bee Shop to mark my psychologist appointment. And then I went ahead and filled in the right hand column of the Wednesday. I think one of the best things about the Sweet Kawaii Designs kit is it doesn't actually, the lines underneath don't show through, which I really like. So it means I don't have to tip X out all those lines on the right, which was getting a little bit frustrating tipexing them and then putting plain sticker paper. So I quite like this solution and I'm going to have to remember the full box with the checklist on top does work if it's a translucent box because um, I really like the checklists and I don't always use them out of the kits because of the lines that are there. So I used a half box here to mark this because it's a full day event. Um, I don't know why my camera kept going in and out there, sorry about that. And I went ahead and did the same on Friday. I did put my to-do lists down at the bottom for Thursday, Friday. I like to alternate it. It's just something I do and something I like to do. So I put my weekend banner just on the Saturday and I could not get it to go straight. It didn't matter what I did, I just wasn't getting it down right. So I ended up leaving it and I'm just gonna hope it doesn't annoy me too much. Um, that meant that my right hand column was free and I quite liked it. I don't normally like fill up the right hand column the same but I like the uniform look of it. So I'm quite pleased that the weekend banner fitted so nicely across the two columns on Saturday.
So I did use the day off stickers as well, I don't normally use those but I decided to mark my husband's days off as there were two of the flags and we don't actually have any other plans for the weekend. Um, so I thought that that would fill it in quite nicely. Then I went ahead and put my tracker on the week and I did put the quote box down there as well because it's really nice and I think it fitted really well. Um, then I used the cutlery and the clouds. I've never used the clouds before as my actual meal planner. Um, I do know that's why they're in the kit but I normally use them for appointments and things but I decided to go for it and I quite like it. Um, I think it looks quite nice so I might do that again sometime. So now I'm just having a little flick through, check if there's anything else, which bin day on Wednesday and this is what I have left and here is my completed week. So I have these stickers left, not a huge amount, I used quite a lot out of the kit. I'm really pleased actually with the amount I used, I feel like I didn't waste anything and I'm sure I'll use some more of them as the week goes on. And here is my completed week. I love this kit, the muted colours are really nice. I will leave a link down below to the shops that are mentioned. If anyone has any questions, please ask them down below or you can find me on Instagram. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching, bye.